Rod Johnson. The state of Nebraska says yes to Canadian oil interests and no to American environmentalists. With that, we are adjourned. Thank you for your attendance today. An unusual pairing of farmers and conservationists calls that decision dangerous. We need to go as far as we can to stop this from going through because it will threaten the drinking water of Americans. Just four days earlier, the existing Keystone pipeline leaked 5,000 barrels of crude oil in rural South Dakota. Regulators in the Midwestern state of Nebraska say more Canadian oil can flow through the U.S. along the long-delayed Keystone XL pipeline extension. However, the planned route through the American heartland faces an all but certain court appeal. Opponents want the Nebraska Supreme Court to block it. There's years of litigation ahead of this project. The local citizens of Nebraska, some of whom are quite conservative and probably voted for Trump, they are against this pipeline and we're going to be with them until the end. President Barack Obama stopped the pipeline extension in 2015 over concerns about carbon pollution. President Donald Trump revived it just a few months after taking office. Today we take one more step in putting the jobs, wages, and economic security of American citizens first. It's a familiar story in the American Midwest. The Native American Standing Rock Sioux Nation has also waged an unsuccessful campaign to block another pipeline, the Dakota Access. As there, those in Nebraska plan to continue their fight. But with the U.S. and Canadian governments backing construction of what amounts to a superhighway of crude oil, the odds appear to be against them. John Hendren, Al Jazeera. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.